to know because the JV star tennis team was going to be just horrible. So that was pretty, you know, good. Um, number one. Number one. Letter B, when you add F and G together, 3x to the third, x squared minus 2x plus 1, great job, put a 1 in here, here, and here, that 1 does give us a 3, and that's what we're looking for, so B is an answer. Letter C, if I need to, if you get, is it a negative x to the fourth? Negative x to the fourth, minus Yellow highlight. I need to see that you know that you plug in negative two. Now this you could use a calculator for, and that gives us the result of 23. For the subtraction, it's the yellow highlight. Show the negative two plugged in, and that gives me the result of negative 37. Bing bong. Oh, on past, past skills, but I don't think we've ever done composition before. So um, let's just talk about this word composition. Uh, it seems like a word we all know, but I don't think I use it. Well, I don't know if I say it or not. Um, how would you ever use the word composition? A composition notebook. Why is it called a composition notebook? What is it composed? Yes, I think it's a, it's a collection or a composition. It's composed of all your notes, all your stories, all your writing. So it's, it's one notebook. It's composed of all your things. What's another way we hear the word composition or compose? The composer of the orchestra. Is the musical piece called a composition? Of the musical piece of this. Yeah. A song. So why would the composer of the song be called a composer? 
I think they're bringing together lots of different people and instruments and together all of those notes and make the song. So anyway, a composition of functions means one function is made of the other. So they, they end up getting plugged in to each other. Like I feel like the rest of these compose like ingredients. Is that okay? So today we're going to plug one function right into the other. You have to know the symbols. Typically, parentheses always mean multiplication. So I think this is a little misleading the way they've decided to use these parentheses here. But what this means is I take whatever the G function is and I put it into the F function. So you plug the equation of G into the F function wherever there is an F. Okay, so we're going to plug these equations into each other. How do you want to write this? Answer. Yes. This one, this reads G is composed of F of X. And that means you take whatever the F function is and you plug it into the G function. All right. And then this last one really makes me think about programming. I don't know if any of you know any programming languages or anything into that, but this is. I'm going to take whatever the function f is and I'm going to plug it right into itself. So it's a bit like a cycle. I, I have an input, I get it out, I plug that in, put it right back into the problem again, get it that out, put it right back into the problem again, like a cycle. Um, so I think a lot of programming is like, if this result comes out, you know, that result leads to another function, goes into another function, that function leads to another result, leads to another function. So if a person clicks on this, then this group um, shows up. And that really is one pro one statement in programming that is plugged into another. So composition of functions. I feel obligated to tell you there is another way to write. Your textbook doesn't do it, but the textbook that we used five years um, before this one. Shows it this way. I've also seen it this way in the SAT. Okay. I, oh no. I prefer this one better. This is an open circle. It looks a lot like the product dot. The product dot is closed. This is an open circle. This means plug G into F. And I like this because we would say plug and plug, and then shorthand for it. But um, these are both the same thing. Like this means the same thing as this. I've seen this symbol on SAT college algebra textbooks use it. Our textbooks used to use it, and I would just be able to put the symbols on each other. All right, you guys jump in at number five. So we're on page four nine seven. All of you with me? I'll probably finish this. I got enough time, I'll probably go there and do this later. Maybe I'll let you do a lot on your own, I don't know. I should probably do time even more, but we're going quickly right now. Compared to the other, well, you know what happened in second grade. Let's see what's right, though. And then there was third grade, and then fourth grade, and you also did cut off half. Y'all put half better than us.
had four parts. Today, every question has three parts. You have to do uh, plug G into F, you have to plug F into G, and you have to plug F into F. So each question is really three problems. I'm going to make a note here. Plug G into F. That's what that symbol means. So this is what I do. I find it really helpful. I circle what I'm going to plug in. So this X is going to go out. And I'm going to take this whole thing. And I'm going to put it right in there. And so a lot of times it requires parentheses. So I got a 2. The X is out. X minus 1 is in. And the little exponent of 2. Sometimes it can't be simplified. This, um, this to put it in standard form, we're going to FOIL it and then distribute 2. So we do have to keep going after we plug in. Erase this. So now we um, FOIL and distribute. And we're going to ignore these two for a minute. We'll get to this one. And you know, this can be the most isolated thing I've ever done in my life. I don't care. I can do this. Um, it was just about the how many times are they going to hit the gas lines? Like, you don't know what they're doing. Or, I went so, so fast there in order just to put a building up. I think that um, I think construction is is extremely difficult. It's hard on the body. Like I think it's really hard for you. Honestly. I mean, I don't know. I think I would get more effort in one part. You guys are much better at paying attention to like the parts of the question. Um, not the Who's got a question? 
Yes. And then I'll do the next one. All right, so uh, yeah, so this time the F goes into G. The F goes into G. So I'm going to circle F. Well, first. So it's a full rotation. So there's two at the very main point. So it's called the oval letter is the right side. inside of itself. Um, So we're plugging it right into its twin. And then we have to go about, if you have to simplify, you do. Now in letter B, this doesn't, this is already standard form. There's nothing to distribute. There's no like terms. But this, we got to deal with this exponent. We got to multiply. So sometimes there's work to be done. Sometimes there isn't. Okay, so I'm going to put the first letter in the front. Squared, so I'm going to do the power property. So that would be 2 times 4x to the 4th, which is 8x to the 4th. So I'm going to do the x to the 4th. That's it. That's number five completely done. We did three things. We boxed them with our answer. We're ready for number seven. Uh, today's the odds are done. Now we have our home. And I, like I said, I think I'm going to change the one. We have to go too far away. And then there's a minus seven at the end. This can be done based 
to the account for him this week. I'm not really going to go turn to him. Last time I didn't like turn to you, but I guess I lied to you a little bit this time, but you don't need him. Now, there's nothing I can do here. There's no way to stop with all that. Can you hear me? One day we'll find a use for it. Yeah. 
Oh no. Are there more steps? So this is gone, and I put this right there, and then I keep the plus seven. I think you can combine the negative seven and seven. I think they can. Okay. The minus seven and the plus seven are stuck under there together, and they're going to cancel each other out. So D of S of X is the square root of three. Let's say you did stuff and you got that all by yourself before me. Anybody working ahead? Oh, oh, yeah, I got that. Okay. All right, letter C, S goes inside, or branch to F and E, S goes in. So, S S equals square root of 1 over E, S S equals square Are you super sure? Um, no, wait, no, that's not it. D for 7 and Showing up in the math. Wait, when three gets like a month. I can't No, Oh my goodness. Yeah, it did. Well, they don't. <laughs> Huh? What about? Not right. I 
Twice, so yes, uh, yeah, we don't, we, we ignore that one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, I'm good. 